If you haven't been lucky enough to hear about it, there was a television show on VH1 in the really early 2000s called Totally Obsessed. It was basically the precursor to shows like My Strange Addiction. But don't get it twisted, the shows are completely different. While My Strange Addiction makes me want to pull my hair out because watching people drink pain and eat bricks is not entertaining, Totally Obsessed is just about people who really really enjoy a franchise or hobby of theirs and happen to take it to the extreme to say the least. It's much more tasteful than other obsession shows, and it's extremely charming, especially being hosted by the legendary Fred Willard. Each segment of the show is like two to four minutes long, and there's really only like 20 segments online to begin with. I'll leave a link to the playlist of them, because this series of mine completely hinges on whether or not you've seen them. For this series is all about how I am totally obsessed with Totally Obsessed. I want to track down all the people in these videos and interview them about their appearance and their interesting ass lives. I want to see how many of them are gripped with their obsessions still to this day, or if they've moved on to different things. I've wanted to make this series for way longer than my channel has even existed, and this project has been in the works for like two and a half years now. So today for this first episode, I will be discussing and interviewing Matt Sherman, the man totally obsessed with James Bond. I don't know where Bond stops and, and I begin sometimes. This video is like two and a half minutes long, so please, if you haven't seen it, just pause this video and go watch it real quick. I promise I will wait for you. Just go. All right, now that you're back, let's get down to business, okay? Matt has always been one of my favorite people on this show. His personality is so bombastic and friendly, and he just has contagious good vibes to me. I just couldn't watch these videos anymore without my mind being plagued with thoughts about these people, about how this show affected their lives. Hopefully I can contact even more people from the show, and maybe even have call interviews with some. Today I will be reading through the email conversation between me and Mr. Sherman, Matt Sherman. Hello Jalamoth, are you the person who contacted me on social media last week? I'd be happy to chat with you, send questions by email please, thank you. Yeah, I contacted you a few days ago via YouTube. Thank you so, so, so much for taking time out of your day to answer my questions. I'm just a teenager from a small town, and me and my friends were all watching the 2003 VH1 show Totally Obsessed, and I've made it my personal mission to try to see where those people may have ended up. Your appearance on the show has always stuck out to me and my friends, and we think that you're hilarious and charming. I searched deeper and found that you love pool, which I think is totally awesome. Pool is super, super fun to play, and I've always wanted to get more involved. Here are some questions for you about your appearance on Totally Obsessed. I will now go through my questions and his answers to them at the same time because I feel like that structurally makes the most sense. So here we go. Question number one. Do you think the episode was an accurate portrayal of your life or was it toyed with to seem more extreme for the show? My episode was toyed with to be a Bond spoof and to make my family look more obsessed. Question number two. How exactly did the network or company contact you about appearing on the show? I've been on several shows online and off and in many magazines, and I do not remember, but I think I do remember they contacted me off one of my websites. Question number three. What are your feelings towards how you were portrayed? Was appearing in the show a positive or negative thing that happened to you? It's a fun, positive memory. It's just as interesting to have the film crew in your home and to work with them as it was to see the episode on TV. Question number four. Has anybody ever recognized you from it? Rarely, because it was so long ago, but it happens. A few Bond fans saw me there first, rather than finding my website or etc. Question number five. Are you still as totally obsessed with James Bond as you were in 2003, or has it dulled down over time or gotten stale at all? It's as interesting as ever. I still run Bond fan events. The episode first aired on October 31st, 2004. But since 1998, Janine Sherman and I have run Bond fan events and tours. Next year is a cruise, our 23rd such fan event, and we have over 40 fans signed up to join so far. Question number six. Do you still have your dream of going to Hollywood and one day being James Bond in the movies? I'm now a little too old, but I'm still available for Bond or any other part at all. Question number seven. Reading through the comments on the YouTube video posted of your clip on Totally Obsessed, there are a lot of mean remarks and backlash. I assume your lifestyle has also led to some people being cruel in real life as well. Does this affect you? I personally love that you get so much joy out of a franchise. I get similar emotions thinking about movies or shows that I deeply care about. No, social media jokes are no big deal. 
if it gets more fans to join my fan events, that's great. And finally, question number eight. Do you have any tips or advice for aspiring pool players or secret agents out there? Most pool players are afraid to get lessons and get knowledge from fellow pool players. Get a teacher or send me a note, I always give free advice online. Secret agents can start at the International Spy Museum in Washington DC to learn more. Thank you so much Mr. Sherman, you taking time to do this is really nice. I hope your 2020 is going great so far. It sure is good, this was a fun interview, thanks. In hindsight, a little over a year later now, I wish I would have asked more questions. Later episodes of this series will get more and more in-depth, and hell, maybe even Matt Sherman will make a reappearance sometime. He was incredibly nice to talk to, and I'll leave links to his website if you're interested in the Bond fan events. To my understanding, they travel the world to where the movies were filmed and have a pretty good time. This put a massive smile on my face when I first read it, as you would never get this kind of development from a depraved show like My Strange Addiction. Matt Sherman, the man totally obsessed with James Bond, turned his appreciation for the character into something constructive and amazing. Me and Matt continued to email back and forth for a while, and I even made some artwork for him just because I wanted him to have some. He was a great sport for the interview. Not to spoil anything down the line, but not every person on this show is very nice. Have other people turned their obsession into something more? Or were some people consumed by it? Or maybe even just got over it? There's only one way to find out. Tune in next episode of Totally Obsessed with Totally Obsessed.